welcome back. So today I am going to go to TJ, Tijuana, Mexico, to get my wisdom teeth removed without anesthesia. No, wait. With local anesthesia, to be correct. Local. 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 So that means I'm not going to be asleep. I am going to be awake the whole entire time, but I have anxiety about being put down. Not put down. <laughs> <laughs> I have anxiety about <laughs> being asleep, being sedated, there you go, being, he heavy, being heavily sedated, <laughs> so yeah, um, you guys get to go with me through the journey, I might do aftermaths to see how I'm doing or whatnot, but yeah, stay tuned if you want to see all that. Hello friends, it's Sabrina. Just giving you a heads up. They started on Pearl surgery at um, about 6.15. It's already 6.30. Um, from the sound of it, they already took out one. We're taking out all four today. Um, they are also doing local anesthesia instead of general, so she is going to be awake during all of this. Um, I'll give you a heads up on when they're finished. Hopefully we can record a little bit of what's going on. Let's see if she'll feel good enough to be able to do a little, you know, a little scene. But if anything, she will finish this off. Most likely, um, talking about pricing and, you know, other questions that might be asked. But, um... Yeah, I think, I think that's all. I have half of my lip numb. Half of your lip numb? Yes. Looks cute. Thank you. It's a look. <laughs> so we're here waiting. She's in the middle of doing her procedure. And we'll give you guys a little, you know, update once she's done. They're starting. Yay. Hi you guys, so today's an update after 24 hours of getting uh, the four wisdom teeth removed and the uh, root canal. Uh, so I'm able to talk, but this is how I'm talking. Um, I'm going to brush my teeth because I just ate uh, ice cream and then a yogurt and then a gogurt because I was really hungry because I've only eaten two other ice creams today so I'm really hungry and I love to eat <laughs> you could tell but uh, yeah so every time I eat or I put anything that's not water medication in my mouth I, I wash my teeth and I uh, mouthwash with this antiseptic uh, mouthwash it does not have I, I bought it because it says that it's for a wound uh, cleanser and afterwards it feels good because it's, it's mint and then uh, it does not have alcohol alcohol free so this is right here how I wash my teeth after I eat I just go lightly 
with, with cool water. So I'm able to open my mouth a lot bigger than my sister was. My sister got her wisdom two teeth removed from one side, but she was not able to open it her mouth as big because of um, her having stitches. I didn't get stitches because my tooth was already out. My, right now, she was in pain. I'm not in pain, but I'm also doing my medication um, when it's needed. Like, I'm not waiting last minute to do, to do my medication. I don't know if she did, but I know that she was in a lot more pain. Um, and, uh, I mean, I was able to get up this morning like nothing, take a shower, uh, and clean up the house and then I'm still washing today. I've been washing all day today. So um I'm not in bad pain but that's how big I can open my mouth. I could probably open it bigger if I tried to. Uh let me do the mouthwash. I with the mouthwash I try not to okay. with the mouthwash I try not to use a lot of force. And if you can see, I'm not as swollen. My sister says that she was a lot more swollen. I'm not very swollen. I just have a chubby face. I'm not that swollen. The trick is moving your head rather than moving, pushing the stuff around because you don't want to break. What it is is a, a blood clot that you have inside in each pocket and you don't want to break that blood clot so you want to make sure that the blood clot stays there so what i do is i just go and i love this mouthwash because it has like a hint of mint so afterwards your mouth stays minty so i feel like the reason why my face isn't as swollen is because i bought this from amazon and it's something that i just put over over like that you know i look super cute and it keeps it nice and cold don't judge my room it keeps it nice and cold and it's nice and tight so i'll come back on day two right now this is 24 hours after and i'm doing good no pain more like there's wounds there so of course i can't talk and I'm also using, I'll show you the gauze that I'm using. I'm also using this gauze that's really helping me. So I'll show you the gauze. So uh, this right here is a gauze that I bought and I absolutely love. It's, uh, I just put it, I don't put it in the bag because I don't want to disrupt the healing. So what I'm doing is literally it's just for, I know it's going to sound gross, but it's just for it to catch the spit. And I put it underneath my tongue, and then another part of it, I overlap with my, with my front teeth. I'll show you in a second on how I do it. So these two, that, these were all prescribed. All these medications were prescribed to me. So these two, this is an under the tongue pain medication. This is for, I believe, anti-inflammatory and as well as another pain medication, kind of like ibuprofen, a stronger ibuprofen. And then these right here are the um, the antibiotics. Antibiotics and the, uh, I'm going to call it the naproxen because that's what it is, I think. I'm pretty sure it's naproxen. Uh, I'm taking it one tablet every eight hours. The antibiotic is for seven days and the naproxen is for five days. These ones I'm taking sublingual, so it goes underneath my tongue and it's supposed to dissolve. It does dissolve. And I'm taking it every 12 hours for three days. I feel like it's doing a good job. Let me show you how I, the, the reason why I bought these. These cost, these um, the gauzes cost me five, I want to say like $5.76 on, at CVS. So they come in a packet like this. 
they are a little bulky but i haven't been trying to talk all day today just because i don't want anything happening so this is what i do i don't talk that much i do talk when a lot and i just go under and then i take it in there It helps, it helps me so I don't swallow as much and I'm not putting that pressure in the back of my uh, the back of my pocket so um, hopefully I don't disrupt none of the healing. So I'll go ahead and uh, record me on day two. I'm pretty sure that the longer I go, the better it's gonna get. But uh, yeah, so um, I don't feel like I'm that swollen. Just maybe a little bit. I haven't been using my eyes that often. I should probably. Um, I looked in the back of my mouth and the bottom two look like at like one third closed. Um, I'm going to go more into detail tomorrow when I record, but I just want to show you that I'm doing a lot better. I just want to uh, make sure that when I record next, um, I don't have any issues of you understanding me or anything like that. I did. I think I bit my lip during the procedure and I didn't notice so it was swollen right here on the side. Um, today, I was able to eat um, I, a lot of ice cream. I've been eating a lot of ice cream and then at the end of the day, I was really hungry for some actual food. So what I did is I boiled eggs and um, I did hard boiled eggs and I made it into like a egg salad without any any additives like no celery just the pure hard boiled, boiled egg uh, mayonnaise um, salt and pepper and that's all i ate um and it was like the best thing ever my family did eat pizza and that was kind of like because mm, pizza is my favorite but other than that i'm doing good my pain right now one through ten will probably be like a one or even a zero i am taking my medication as prescribed so um in the morning i did get a little bit of an ache but that's it it wasn't really like extreme i've been sleeping mostly so it, it hasn't been that bad Alrighty, so i'll see you guys and then i'm able to open my mouth pretty wide so i don't think that's bad um, so I'll go ahead and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll make sure I write down everything that you guys have asked me. And I'll make sure I give you more detail on what had happened and why I needed a root canal last minute and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I just feel like tomorrow I'll feel a little bit better. So I'll be able to talk with less of a lisp. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is day two. Bye. Hi you guys. So we're in day three today. So um, I just wanted to get on here and kind of let you know of my experience as well as answer a few questions that you guys had for me. So let's start with going over there. Going over there, uh, we got to the place right away. It's on the, uh, off of the San Isidro, um, after the San Isidro border. Um, when we got there, everybody was really, really nice. Um, they um, had me pay after I had the whole procedure done. Um, so what they told me is that for each, for each wisdom tooth, it was gonna be 150. But if they had complications, it was gonna be and they needed to call in a specialist, it was gonna go up to 250, which I don't think is too bad. Um, so when I got there, everybody was super nice. It was um, the doctor, the, um, the one that you see in the recording, she was super, super, super nice. Like she, she was like a one out of 10, she was 10 the whole time. So we got there and um, when she took it out, they use like these kind of tools to kind of like pull it out. Like it does like kind of like a, she anchors it. And then once she sees that it's popped out of the socket, she goes in with these like kind of pliers looking thing and then she pulls it out. Um, 
it was more scary thinking about it than actually having it done. So, um, so when we got to, cause she did the top one, first she did the right side. When she did the top one, it was like nothing. She did the bottom one, it wasn't like nothing. But when, when it was coming out, I guess it was like, um, kind of like linked to my other two. And, um, when it popped it off, part of my other tooth ended up coming off with it. But the part, the thing that was uh, messed up with my other tooth is that it already had an inner cavity for so long. And I wasn't having any pain with it, which was really weird. Um, so I did have to do like an emergency root canal. So they needed to call in a specialist to come in to do the root canal. And this was already like around seven o'clock at night, eight o'clock at night. So uh, we were, I was really, really, really fortunate that um, they were able to do the root canal. So once she, the tooth was cracked, she, she was just, she felt really bad because she kind of felt like it was something that I didn't anticipate that was happening. So she was more, she was more upset in, in my behalf. And she was just telling me, like, I just don't want you to think that I did it on purpose. It just, you know, it kind of fell out. And she kept on reassuring me even afterwards. And I told her, you know, I kind of knew. I, I kind of had a feeling that that, te that tooth wasn't good. Or it was, there was something going on with that tooth. But I just, I didn't know what exactly. And then she said that on the x-rays, it did show that there was a cavity in there. But since my main concern was taking all four of them out, um she wasn't able to tell on the on the x-rays how bad it was so um she kept on telling me that she's so sorry and whatnot and i told her you know it's fine it's fine it wasn't a big deal we had money to cover it and then so um she went ahead and finished off the left side the top side and the the, the top and the bottom um after that the other specialist came in she was really nice too she was a little bit more reserved but she was really nice and she went ahead and um, she did the root canal. So um, I still need two more appointments to go to. Um, I need to do another appointment this Friday that's gonna be to do the, um, what's it called? The base of the, of the tooth. And then on top of that, I'm gonna need to do the crown. So that's not next visit the crown, but the following visit. Um, so, I don't think they charge me that bad, I mean that much. Um, in total that night that I had to pay was 820. And then the next visit, I do need to pay an additional 245. And it's gonna be for the base, as well as paying the down payment for the, um, the crown. And then um, the following Friday is gonna be the 125 that last payment for the um, remainder of the crown. Like I said, they were really nice. The whole entire time, she was were telling me to let them know if there was any pain whatsoever because there wasn't supposed to be any pain or any pulling sensation because they didn't want me to be in any pain. So they were just on it trying to get me numb. Unfortunately for me, I do need a lot of um, medication to get my, my, um, my gums numb i'm not sure why it's just that's just how my body is um so there was a couple of times where like you know we would start the procedure and i'll tell them you know i could feel it and i don't i want to make sure that there's more medication because i don't want to feel anything pretty much and um yeah they were they were really nice they really understood they did send me home with medication i don't know how much i paid for it because i was really out of it my sister helped she she paid for it with my money I, I i wasn't paying attention on how much it was i think maybe like less than 40 dollars i don't i'll ask her and i'll put it in the description but um yeah it was really it was really um it was a really good experience um i would recommend somebody that doesn't have health insurance to go and do, do that i do have health insurance but I know that for that procedure, I was gonna pay, just for the, the teeth removal, I was gonna pay like two grand for that, just alone. 
so I know I know I got myself a really good deal and um, I've I've been seen there before this was five years ago and they put a, um, a cap on one of my teeth because I had another another um, cavity and they were able to remove the cavity and just do like a fill in and do a cap on it as well and so that I mean it's been good for five years I, I haven't had any issues um, when I first went I didn't know I was going there just because my sister is somewhere where she said oh I found this place we should go to it she did have the, the wisdom tooth removal last week and so that's what made me like want to go because I was just like oh she did a good one on it then they should be doing a good job with me and it was just something that I needed like I said the whole time I um, I was going through the healing process um, I really was nervous because I saw somebody on YouTube you know talking about them having a um, a wisdom tooth removal and she was just upset the whole entire time because she said that she should have just done it when she was younger and it was gonna be really painful and you know I was already in discomfort so I really didn't mind the pain because you know I was in discomfort with the with the um, wisdom teeth because um, there was like no room in the back of my mouth like whatsoever like it, everything was just crammed in there um, and you know I think that things happen for a reason I'm not I'm not upset at all I'm actually really happy that my tooth broke there than rather than me eating and that's what she told me that she was surprised that my tooth didn't break while I was eating like any candy or anything like that it was I was very fortunate that it broke at that moment and I was actually like in a point that you know it's a sign that it just needed to be done and um, yeah so I, I do recommend you guys getting it there um, as for the gal that was 30 years old and saying that it really hurt to the point that you know she was in tears um, maybe not everybody's pain tolerance is the same because I honestly didn't have an issue I honestly feel like I could have gone without pain medication and it would have been aching I feel like with ibuprofen I would have been just as fine um, like right now I'm past due the medication and I I don't feel like it's I just feel like there is of course there's trauma there but no pain no pain whatsoever and I feel like even she said that my my keys were pretty big compared to because they were a little bit on the longer side so it looks pretty kind of gnarly like this one it looks like really super wide and that's why I feel like I was really in discomfort and it's so weird because I can tell the difference so these ones were like the ones that were on top and then these wider ones were the ones that were in the bottom. How, look at how white it was. Or is it just me? She told me that it was like weirdly shaped and I told her I know, right? So yeah, and I'm super glad that they're out. They're not an issue anymore. I'm super happy. And I was glad that I was able to keep them too. I don't know if everywhere makes you, lets you keep, keep them, but I thought it was really cool. So, um, let me know if there's any more questions or concerns. I can record the whole process of the root canal. So right now there's a temporary like seal on it. It's not supposed to be permanent. Um, can you see it? So that's not supposed to be permanent. So I'm gonna go back on Friday and uh, finish that. No, semi finish that process and then uh, not this Friday, but the following Friday, that'll be my last session, and they'll go ahead and put the cap on top of the of that tooth. And I'm just really happy, and I feel like my face will be eventually slimmer because of the um, wisdom teeth. I have seen people that their their cheeks get a lot slimmer after the wisdom the removal of the wisdom teeth. So I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited to not be in pain and be just comfortable. Um, so if you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to message me down below or comment down below or message me um, 
in my social media pl platforms as well. I'm not sure if YouTube lets you message people. Uh, feel free to um, give it a thumbs up if you want to see the other videos. Um, I was able to record in there, so that was that's part of like you know the office that's on the beginning of the video, the recording in there, and it's really nice. It really got modernized. They said that they upgraded it like two years ago, so that was really nice. Um, but yeah, we really bonded, and it was really cool, and everybody was super laid back, and we were able to crack jokes or whatever. So, and I liked the part that I was awake. I, my, you know, I had people tell me like, you're crazy, what are you thinking, being awake during that? And at first I was like, oh, dang, like, what was I thinking? Like, I'm just gonna get over with, like, it is what it is. And then um, once I got it done, I was like, it's not that bad. Like, it was like, whatever, like, I liked knowing what was going on. I really did like what, what was going on. So I know like one tooth got out, the other tooth got out. Um, they were just trying to get these teeth to get out. And it was just a quick, uh, honestly, if it wasn't for my my um, my root canal, uh, it would have been like maybe an hour at the most. And um, I got in there at six. My appointment was at six and I was able to get out of there, I believe like around, uh, 8.39, so I don't think it's that bad to get four wisdom teeth and a root canal all at the same time. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if they're your guys' stories. I like to hear stories and I want to know more about everything. Um, I'm not really educated in the dental field, so let me know if you guys have any questions or whatnot. I, I want to know. I want to know all about your guys' experiences. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and today's update. Update on day number three. So, they're almost... It's like... It's honestly... Like yesterday, it's like a third... Clo like... It's like one third that needs to be closed in order for it to be completely closed. I was able to eat the um, egg salad again today. Um, and, I mean, it was good. I am tempted to eat pizza, but I know I shouldn't. I know, I know. So I'm gonna keep on with this, um, mostly liquidified, di li uh, like a liquidified diet, because I don't want anything to get stuck in the back of my teeth, and I would really hate that. Every time I eat, um, I'm making sure I um, rinse with that mouthwash that I showed you guys in the beginning, because I wanna make sure that everything is being, um, cleaned and everything is just being well taken care of because i would hate to get like you know dry socket or get any type of infection especially because you know i've been working lately uh i've been working uh six days a week so i want to make sure that i'm not missing a day of work so um if you have any more questions or concerns feel free to go ahead and give me a comment all right you guys thank you for watching